Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. You can get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash hidden, H-I-D-D-E-N. Audible has over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. So, no strings attached. We're giving you a free book. You've heard us talk about how much we love Audible. Go give them a shot. And once again, promo code HIDDEN for audibletrial.com slash hidden. As always, we are sponsored by Illuminatus. Their pre-rolls are made like no other pre-roll out there. And they come in a sativa and indica blend, offering a discreet and satisfying experience every single time. Illuminatus products are always guaranteed to meet all government testing standards. So check them out at IlluminatusBrand.com and on Instagram at Team underscore Illuminatus. Uh, so how are we starting this one? Uh, nothing <laughs> as usual. Uh, yeah. Just like that. Exactly yeah. how I wrote it. Yeah. But we'll do uh, it. No, scripted. I feel obliged to R.I.P. to Chadwick Boseman. Oh, of course. As yes. I wrote in my notes, Black Panther has gone extinct. Yes, uh, that just happened. We're recording this on the 29th. So that just happened yesterday. That happened right? like 10 hours ago. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, apparently it's been happening for four years. Because right. I guess he got colon cancer yeah, and just yeah. didn't tell no one. Which, oh. first of all, kudos to him for being in shape while going through chemo, because that must have been hard Hell. as a motherfucker. Not just shape. Superhero shape. Jackie Robinson shape. But I also, when you told me he died, I, I was like, what was he? He was like 28, 29. And no, no, no. Googled he, it. He's 43. Yeah, he was 40. Yeah, yeah. 43 yeah, a, or 44. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I I had not black really doesn't crack. They, <laughs> that I could have sworn he was our age. He's like I mean he was he, playing people that age. Yeah, what the fuck? I was that's not was, fair. I always thought I was like a, like a decent thirty, but like I was like forty. I was like what the fuck? Yeah, n- no, he uh, and he's beautiful. No, I've, I've known that with for, cancer. Yeah, he's man, had cancer this man, whole time. I've known that for a while that he was like one of those dudes who's way older than he looks. But every so often, one sneaks by you. But. Yeah, that one came out of left field. Yeah, because yeah. he didn't... Now, shout out to his crew, too, because that yeah, means they no kept, one leaked mm-hmm. that shit to TMZ, no one leaked it to the fucking Daily Mail. That's a that's an actual accomplishment in this yeah, era. He, he kept... Uh, to die without anyone knowing? Yeah, he kept a tight circle. Like, no one, no one bitched out and sold out his info for money. Because that a hundred percent would have gotten you a big payday with TMZ if you announced that. Oh, Black Panther got yeah, cancer. Black Panther is dying of not cancer. There's stage the headline. four cancer. Yeah, ass cancer. You know how bad stage four is? There's not a stage five. <laughs> that's, no, there's that's a, all you get. There's a stage six. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I was going to explain your joke or make another joke, but I didn't realize it was just explaining your joke. Which is it, usually never good. You mean explaining the joke to make sure people got the joke? Yeah, yeah I think it's funnier if you explain it. Yeah. It's not usually a hallmark of a yeah, fantastic yeah. joke. Yeah, no, uh, in my you see, experience, what he meant by six was six feet deep, uh, and that refers to death. <laughs> no, but uh, so yeah, I I don't know. I I never liked that movie, uh, but R.I.P. I guess I don't yeah. know. Fuck. Yeah, uh, I know the man. That's a <laughs> like, it's a real hit for the Black Lives Matter community. Oh yeah. yeah, they're all over that. Their literal only superheroes is gone. Fucking Wakanda, the vibranium got them, dude. Yeah, <laughs> the no, vibranium gave them radiation poisoning. Their scientists did not properly study the effects of radiation <laughs> he from was, vibranium. He was fucking boofing vibranium. <laughs> <laughs> got colon cancer. That was how he got his special powers. He fucking snuck it in his prison wallet, and then, <laughs> and then he got, uh, uh, R.I.P. to the Chadwick Boseman. Our sincere condolences. Rest in power, King. My sincere condolences to you and your family. Um, now I'm just waiting. Yeah, to, he was definitely shoving shit up his ass. Now I'm just waiting to see died. how uh, <laughs> how Marvel writes Michael B. Jordan into being Black Panther now. Oh, yeah. How, do they? Just have someone else step 
into like the ro- not be Black Panther, there was, but like so in the comics, like yes, and like the his sister takes yeah. over the role, so they might do that. They've been talking about that before this happened because it would feel weird if they just replaced him. Because like in what was the other Marvel movie? Didn't Terrence Howard? In Iron Man, in Iron right? Man, yeah. he just got replaced. But he yeah. was like a side character. You can't. Yeah, that was replace, before he became a real character. Yeah. You, can, you can't replace like the dude. Yeah, T'Challa. I don't, know, <laughs> I don't know why. Like the thought of just like the next m- supposed movie he'd be in. It's like it's like oh, where's Black Panther? Oh, he's dead. Oh, and that's it. Just <laughs> yeah, that's it. They just. I don't know why I'm expecting that. It's those fucked <laughs> part. They address it. Uh, oh, Wakanda's just in pieces. <laughs> well, they could now easily set up their next villain by having him murder Black Panther as like a hate crime. They could do, <laughs> yeah, I guess, <laughs> like a CGI thing where yeah, I'm sure they have enough footage to. Chadwick Boseman to like compose yeah, a they, CGI footage of a, a death scene. They, they can make him that fool in Star Wars. They yeah. can make him do anything. Yeah, with CGI. They could literally make him do anything. I mean, anything? fucking what was that uh, in deep fake porn? Um, <laughs> what was uh the, the crow? The one where uh-huh. Bruce Lee's son died like halfway through filming, yep. and they had to film like some dude who looked like him from the yeah, back for kind of looked like him. half the movie. Yeah, they could do something like that, but with a uh, better technology. But yeah, so uh, you get one black superhero, and uh, he he dies of cancer, and uh, hey, that's how it goes, folks. At least it wasn't by the cops. No, yeah, I yeah Black have... Panther was gunned down by the police for that being a vigilante. He was <laughs> Batman was let off, however. <laughs> yes, bad. <laughs> Oh, what if Batman killed Black Panther because he was trying to make a citizen's arrest? Like, he was trying to. He was just there protecting property. Yeah, Black from Bl- riots. Yeah, stop resisting. No, I came. From, I came from Gotham. Yeah, just to make sure that these streets are safe. <laughs> I'm protecting our car dealerships. I'm protecting <laughs> the Robin, community. Robin, Robin, he's armed. Yeah. He's got a record, Robin. No, 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 he's got priors. Get him. <laughs> I'd love that'd be fantastic. If yes, they make, racist, if, uh, racist Batman killing. If him. if the Justice League has to like come after Batman because he murders Black Panther in a hate crime. Uh, the Justice League has announced they are now trying him on second degree yeah. murder. <laughs> the Justice League will take to Twitter. <laughs> yeah, to Your apologize Honor. on his behalf. Your yeah. Honor, I'm I'm innocent. The Justice League Your is going to march. It was an act of self defense. He came yeah. towards me. <laughs> He was going to harm me. <laughs> no, Your Honor, I can't take off the mask. <laughs> yeah. It's a liability. <laughs> now, that's the turn I could go for. That yeah. would be a real twist. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to play the social social justice warrior aspect, play, let's do it play, let's, real real. Yeah. Yeah, if you're going to play the game, play, if play any, to win. If any black man is going to get murdered by the police, make it the king of the one like black Atlantis. Because if he gets pulled over in his own country and just shot by a cop in a yeah, fucking Rodney that, King incident. <laughs> he he had a fucking tail light out and yeah. Batman uh, got a little itchy on the, the bat shrook yeah. when he reached for his uh, license and registration. You know, yeah. I think Batman's been tweaking these days. So. Yeah, he's, he's spent too much money. He's spent too much time in the Batcave watching uh, Bat Fox News. Yeah, he's yeah. been watching too much Tucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Batman's just been sitting in the Batcave I watching mean, if any, Tucker If Carlson. any superhero would watch Fox, it'd probably be Batman. He's Br- calling Br- in. Brianna Taylor deserved it. <laughs> he's, he's, calling, he's calling into InfoWars. Yeah. Alex, Alex, you don't understand. I have Gotham. a source. <laughs> There's so many Antifa in Gotham. I swear there's a child sex ring under the pizza. I am vengeance. And he pulls up the AR-15. All right, wait, what if we just start doing... I wish I could draw, because I would totally just insert Batman into Q. <laughs> like, if we just... If Batman just started fighting international pedophiles... You know what's funny is there are a few far like MAGA guys. Fiction? Wait, no, they've done legit comics. Oh. Yeah. Guys, Batman took down Epstein. There's, like, Ooh, legit... That's why there's no evidence. Yeah. There's, like, legit... There's <laughs> was, was that... He was the diddler? Yeah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> yes. You'll never catch me, Batman. I'm the, the diddler. She was only 14, <laughs> Batman. If she's 12. Diddle me this. <laughs> How this old is, is she if she's 18 yeah. but take five years off? Diddler, your crime stopped today. <laughs> yeah. oh. I actually don't remember what the Riddler's supposed to sound like. It's my, that's that's oh, no. just my weird carnival uh, voice. Like Riddle the, me this, Batman. Like the Joker, but nerdier. I only and remember the cool. Jim Carrey uh, Riddler. 
<laughs> where, where I thought he was a good casting for that. He was. Yeah. It, the, he had the great line where he smashes the guy in the head with the coffee pot and he goes, Caffeine will kill you. And I was yeah. like, Who wrote that? That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> no, whoa, that's not even a joke. That's no, just a that's just a thing. That's just a, <laughs> that's a just, sentence. It's yeah. a sentence he said while doing a thing. It was both a great and bad era for the the man in black. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't the strongest era of Batman. But that'd be a fantastic turn if you want to flip the superhero on its head. Like, how about we just have Batman break and just get super fucking racist? Or what if it turns out Batman's a Trump supporter? Oh yeah, Batman and Iron Man are both super rich white dudes. What if it turns out they went to fucking Epstein's Island. Oh, like, God. They're, 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 they're on the black book. Yeah, they yeah, got, they're, they're trying in the to, book. They're trying to cover it up. They're Trump but, donors. That's who killed no, him but in instead, the cell, instead like, of like you were saying. No, but instead of like their actual name, it's Iron Man and Batman. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Jeff, Jeffrey, you know too much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we had good times, Jeff. Yeah, fucking Iron, <laughs> Iron Man shut down uh, the, the cameras. Batman took out the guards, and they he made it look like a then suicide. They hung him. You yeah. either die a hero. Or you live long enough to see yourself strangle a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then go fuck some kids. <laughs> Where the fuck are the tapes? I'm moving uh, Bruce Manor, or Wayne Manor to uh, St. James. <laughs> where was where were they accusing uh, Bru- or, uh, Tom Hanks of going? Moving oh. to uh, Greece. Oh. oh. The, uh, was it For... Greece? Because it's a place where pedophilia is uh, labeled like a handicap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, really? I, I would yeah. believe it. Like a disability. That's uh, your honor. I, I think listen. It, I have a disability. I think yeah. it was somewhere in Greece, and I don't exactly remember. But I mean, was, the, oh the Greeks like did invent fucking kids. Like that's their move. Yeah, but I, that, that was just one of the things they glommed onto. That I thought was pretty funny. I, I isn't Greece like broke? Like, yes, broke, broke. Like they're selling their artifacts. Yeah, and they, shit they've to, been they've been selling their. Priceless yeah. monuments for like the last yeah, yeah, twenty been, years. They've been selling literally like yeah. wonders of the world to try and if fix they could, their economy. If they could move the Pantheon, they would sell it. Oh, a hundred percent. Because they need the money. Steve Ballmer could buy it, yeah. move it to Steve fucking jobs. They're like it. they're pretty much just like dope fiends, just like hawking whatever they can find at this <laughs> yeah, point. They're stealing their country's TVs. Yeah, uh, yeah. Fucking, I'll sell you this Pantheon for like a, yeah. uh, an eight ball. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, you want to you want a sculpture by David? Uh, can, can I get one GDP upgrade? <laughs> I just need one one hit of GDP, man. Now they could never do it, <laughs> but if you did have Batman come out as like I'm Q. That, Ooh, that'd be a Batman's fascinating. Q. No, you know who would Alfred would be Q. Batman would be the one doing like the mission. Q, Alfred is like intelligent. That's Alfred's the brains. He's the yeah, he's, he's at he is HQ. British. Uh, he's at HQ. Oh uh, shit! Oh, oh no! There, oh, you heard here, folks. Uh, <laughs> there's no coincidences. There are coincidences here. No. Alfred, do you know what Hillary Clinton's been doing? <laughs> Alfred, Alfred play you know frazzle drip. <laughs> All right, what else? Uh, what else we got? I think. Uh, yeah, I think it's <laughs> Other than no. yeah. I don't know. Oh, I'm really, yeah, I'm uh... really enjoying this Batman turn. To be honest with you, yeah, this is yeah. like an As turn. someone who has found the genre needing to get yeah. a little fresher, I like all right Batman. We, we should did, we should pitch the DC. Like, we listen. did sort of ruin our memorial to uh, Chadwick Boseman. By, yeah, Chadwick Boseman implying that he was murdered by the police. <laughs> yeah, by well, uh, he was he, murdered by a a, I hate, a, ra- I hate yeah. crime pedophile. No, a hate driven Batman. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, uh circling back around it's always bad when someone dies of cancer. Yeah, in it's, all sincerity. So, Cancer's bad, okay? Yeah. He should have smoked Cancer's more gay. weed. Listen, if we can be serious for a second, mm-hmm. it, when when people die of cancer, it's bad. It's not good. It's bad. It's, it's unfortunate. It's bad. Cancer's kind of gay, not going to Yeah. <laughs> all right, anyways. Okay. Back to gay Batman or whatever. I'll do gay Batman for five hours later. or whatever we were doing. Uh, <laughs> gay Batman, crime <laughs> Batman, pedophile Batman. Batman, Batman. Iron Man. Or yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the beauty of Batman. Man, is he doesn't actually have superpowers, so he can do anything. Oh, and who was Robin? Of course, he oh. got him from the yeah, island. From the island. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. oh, my Unless Batman I... pedophile story is finally gonna make sense. Yeah, now, I was gonna say if Robin was B. Epstein. Yeah, like this is. I foretold it, this. It's it's almost. 
too right. too Poetic. good. Someone get me Warner Brothers. Erase this part of the movie. tape. We're, yeah, we're 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 keeping this for ourselves. Where's DC? Com- who runs DC Comics now? In our line, we got some we got some ideas for you. Oh, we're gonna self publish an Amazon novel. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have <laughs> no drawings in it, and it's gonna have very poor grammar because I'm not. I'm good at speaking, but I ain't so book. good at writing. You're gonna write it like the uh, like the fucking zodiac. Yeah, the problem is I don't know how to uh, format books. Like I, I can write an essay. I can't. Now we'll make it a comic book. I feel like you gotta yeah. see Batman fuck a child. Okay, but <laughs> gotta see him go to the island. Only if I can draw it because I can't draw at all. And it'd be really funny to have stick figure yeah, Batman stick, like <laughs> just on a stick fucking figure like, Batman fucking on a stick a figure minor airplane. Just yeah. Fucking the bat symbol drawn over his face. <laughs> yeah, just the bat Batman landing on Epstein's Island. A big dick drawn <laughs> on a stick figure with a cape. Nah, Batman's gotta have a little dick. <laughs> yeah. That's he's overcompensating. Yeah, all that money's yeah. a compensation. Oh, that's true. All the money, all the flash, he's got all the cars and the shit. What it's, do you think the guns are for? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make up for his little Little bad dick. He's got to go beat people so he can feel But You're a big man. You're yeah. a big, big man. <laughs> All right. But, uh, yes. Seriously. What, uh, uh, well, if you think that was bad, we got something worse. Yeah. Uh, in North Korea, they're clamping down on pet dogs because they don't have enough food. <laughs> Damn. It's starting. So- so it could be worse here. All right, R.I.P. Is this the in memoriam episode? R.I.P. Uh, the dogs of Fido. North Korea. Yeah. So they're decrying it as a Western decadence. Uh, what? Uh, and a tainted trend by bourgeoisie. I'm trying to think of famous dogs to say R.I.P. to. Uh, R.I.P. Clifford, Lassie, uh, Clifford. Uh, uh, Santa's little helper from The Simpsons. Fucking. Uh, uh, what was the dog? Uh, in the, the Family dumb Guy one? dog, Brian. Brian. Well, <laughs> and part of the funny thing is only the rich people can even afford to have dogs and Which? not eat them. So, <laughs> like, the people, like, the poor people just have pets that they have to eat. Once again, this is a conversation we had off air, but for for you motherfuckers who bitch about living in America, yeah, there's some way worse places you could be. Yeah, you need yeah. a little perspective from uh, now and then. Could you, be in the South. You can still hit Mickey D's and get two full meals for six bucks if you order off the dollar menu. But uh, you ain't got to eat your dog. Yeah, yet. you don't have to live in a shack and eat your dog. Yeah, they're literally just taking people's dogs and sending them to restaurants. What do you think the best dog to eat is? What's like the chunkiest? Probably Misty. <laughs> I don't know. I don't That's know. his own dog, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if the little. Lab. I don't know if the little ones would taste better. I don't know how you cook a dog, to be honest. That's you know what. Well, what you do is you problem. skin it, you defer it, and then you what you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but do you roast it whole like a pig? Am I slicing off yeah, certain, you it. You certain like sections? Pipe. Yeah, I think I think you would cook it like a rotisserie chicken. Yeah. <laughs> then probably a pig-sized dog. dog. Yeah. So uh, I think you would fatten it up first. Right, like you would, you would. Uh, I don't know if that and, would make the meat better or just fattier. Well, because otherwise, it's not like dogs have ton of. For all fat. those listening at home, what does dog taste like? Let us yeah. know. <laughs> all all our North Korean listeners, who I'm <laughs> sure have free access to the internet. Oh, uh, I'm unfiltered. sure they're. I'm sure they're being treated very well. Well, listen. Uh, uh, how about this part then? Uh, uh, the great leader has suggested you give us dumb Americans. Suggestions on what the best dog to eat is. Yeah, send because us your, we're too dumb send to us figure your recipes. it out. Send yeah. us your recipes. Yeah, we'll, we'll <laughs> share them. You know, <laughs> we'll whip up a dog. We'll we'll retweet your dog recipes. Fried dog. Oh, god damn! It, it just thinking about living that life is. It's yeah, so it shitty. sounds so bad. Just yeah. when well, you've literally run out of food, like no, no more pets. Yeah, <laughs> like we let the homeless people here have pets. Yeah, true. Uh, yeah, we got we got people sitting outside with zero money and a dog, and even they aren't thinking about eating it. Yeah, <laughs> not so, yet at least. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not yet at least. Uh, I don't know. They don't have I've the never, fire to cook it. I've never seen a homeless person eat their dog, but <laughs> I've seen a lot of homeless people with dogs. Yeah. So I've even seen the homeless people eat homeless people. Yeah. No, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's just taking care of a problem. Yeah, it's just wild. But in this country, our homeless people have dogs. In North Korea, you have to eat the dogs. Yeah. Now, how that, many dogs? That sounded like a Yakov Smirnoff joke, by the way. <laughs> like in, in this country, I guess it kind of was. North Korea eat dog. Great yeah. leader to say you eat dog. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't think they would just. I just don't think they taste good. But I guess when you got no other food, but how many dogs could there possibly well, be? I'm sure you could season it. I'm sure it tastes good. I guess hey. maybe. But how many could they be where the pets are like, no, we need to eat those now? Uh, or how did they run out of the other animal? It's not like. Well, I think once they run out of children, then they come to the. Dogs. I mean, I know <laughs> they ran out of other food because they weren't making it. But, but like, how many dogs could they possibly have? Can't you just get two animals to fuck? And well, they make more animals we and did then talk eat about, those animals? We did talk about the staged photo of him going to uh, the chicken oh, farm. right. Yes. Let's, let's get into that. We can the, lead into that. Because yeah. that was, speaking of their food, they were building like a huge chicken farm or a chicken plant, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're working on getting the food, supposedly. But uh, There was a new article you were telling me about. I yeah, told you to save yeah. it for the show, though. They, so. they just released it that uh, there's been reports that North... Korean leader Kim Jong Un has been in a coma for months. So he's for alive. many months. So the bed, uh, the bed is still on the line. Well, it's still. Well, I depends. don't know. If a coma is a pretty easy thing to say he's in when he's. That probably means he's a vegetable. I'm not until they declare him dead. I am not uh, succumbing to yeah. the bed. And that. the bed being that if uh, Kim Jong Un is alive, uh-huh. Jay has to take four shots and do the show. <laughs> And if he is dead, I have to take four dabs and do the show. Mm-hmm. So, so either way, glorious. no one wins. Yeah, <laughs> no, no one's every, for me. Everyone. The wins. listeners win if yeah. if you end up drinking. I win. The listeners win. <laughs> Everybody it'll wins. Be funny. Everybody wins. Because you'll yeah. get fucked up up four shots. You you haven't drank in a fucking decade. Yeah, I'll be pretty turned. Yeah, yeah I'll be pretty turned. Pounding pounded, pounded four shots in like ten seconds is gonna gonna do you good. Uh but yeah, so they just they they confirmed exactly what I already knew, which was that they were staging all these events because duh. They're just stockpiling photo like like Osama bin Laden well, did. Like well, he just recorded a bunch of he was the Tupac of terrorism. Well, you see, he, he just recorded a bunch of material so he could release it after his death. You see, when when you run the only media outlet in the country, it helps. You can <laughs> uh, you can say whatever the fuck you want, and it's yeah. a reality. Because uh, every time I was reading one of those stories about him doing shit, it was uh, pretty obvious that it was an old photo. <laughs> And, and at the bottom of the article, sometimes you'd be like, uh, he actually did this in late 2019. Then what do you think they're going to say when he dies? Like, uh, what? W- I think they're figuring that out. Yeah. What did it. they say with the last guy? I know that they, they said he had, like, completed his work here on Earth. I think they just yeah, the, had to go to the... The gist of it was that they needed to go to, like, their next mission in the sky or something. Yeah, some the shit. next uh, dimension yeah. to rule over yeah. people there. Yeah, yeah, to starve more people there. But They're also a neco- uh, necrocracy, necocracy, there it is, necocracy, which, because they declared the guy who died in 94... The permanent leader in '98, so technically that guy is still the leader, but he's to dead. some extent, but he's dead. So it's seems like a bit uh, of a contradiction there. Yeah, huh. it seems like a bad idea to elect a dead guy. They're not the most productive. Are you electing him, or is he just the, well, the dude? I, I yeah, I guess I can't use North Korean election in yeah. the same sentence. It doesn't really work that way. But uh, so now that. Kim is in a coma officially. Uh, it's been reported that his sister is going to take power, Kim Yo Jong, and apparently she's even more frightening than he is. You think she just pulls the plug so she gets? Of course she's going to pull the yeah. plug. He's already dead. They probably don't even have plugs to pull. They probably have like a guy riding a bicycle to keep his <laughs> ventilator working, like just an army hands. of. Like a bunch of dudes on a fucking not a track trying to <laughs> keep, keep Kim Jong Un alive. You just got a bunch of fucking midgets in there. Yeah, just a bunch of midgets on a, uh, pushing one of those wheels, hamster yeah. wheels. That did what? What the fuck did those wheels do back in the day? Like you know where they showed You're turning a generator. Yeah, I, I guess You're is that what generator. it was? Yeah, where it, You're just twisting a gener, just turning a, the generator to build up energy. Just eight guys walking in a circle, shirtless, pushing a stone <laughs> cylinder of some variety. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's, That's probably what I mean. <laughs> I once again, I think he's been dead from the COVID for a while. I think they're just figuring out how to spin it. Well, if he's been dead, he's been dead for what five months, four months. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's at least been a while. Like February. Yeah, it's it's been like quite some time. Yeah. So I it, think I just don't think they know how to spin it yet. I 
All right. That's just do what they did last time. Well, but that's the problem with saying your leader is God. That my favorite part about when a Korean dictator dies is that they have to have the actresses, well, actresses, whatever, slaves on Uh TV. They have to have the grieving women and they grieve like so fucking over the top. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, They're they're cartoon characters. Yeah. Like (laughs) it's it's a. they grieve like black mothers at funerals. Yeah. Like this, oh, my baby, my baby. Oh, oh great Lord. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, so it's, it's the Asian version of that. But it's so funny because you can tell they are, they don't give a fuck. No. They're fake crying. No. And they're, sometimes they're not even crying. They're just like shrieking and, and waving their arms around. Like a manic episode? Yeah. Pretty yeah, much. yeah. I mean, it's a hysterics. Yeah, yeah. It's hysterics. That's how you know it's fake. Yeah, that's that's how great. That's that's how much they love their leader. Look, no one loves a leader that's making them eat their dogs. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna say that right now. Yeah, I think I think that's safe to say. If you're eating, if you're eating a fucking schnauzer for dinner, you're not a fan of uh, <laughs> the dude in charge. No, like, uh, no. I promise a schnauzer for every table and a, a, a teeth of meth. Dog. <laughs> yeah. Now, what does it mean that people are more scared of the sister taking power? Because I can imagine. I mean, a, she's a crazy bitch. She's I can imagine woman. a woman being brought up in that like just bloodthirsty environment where basically it was just Game of Thrones, but with North Koreans. I mean, she's North Korean Xi Lane. Like she's (sighs) just a cold hearted bitch. To make the proper connection, she's Cersei, but you didn't watch the show, so you wouldn't wouldn't get it. (laughs) No. Everybody else will probably get it. But yeah, that (laughs) must mean she's horrifying. And I was thinking she's probably immediately going to go to war with the... South Korea, right? Do you? Yeah. Do we know, like, if North Korea's army gets all the food? Is that why no one else has food? Because I would feel like if you're going to feed a group of people, it's got to be the troops because you can't have fucking uh, malnourished. Like yeah, I'd feel like it'd be between them and the, the government and the yeah, rich. Yeah, the politicians. Well, once again, I would assume so, but they're also just protected by China. Because, well... Yeah, but you can't have a bunch of like five foot eight, uh, ninety pound soldiers running around on the battlefield, barely able to lift a rifle because they they haven't eaten anything but uh, fucking uh, um, poodles for three days. <laughs> I don't well, there's some soldier there. Now that Kim Jong Un's, I was called Poodles Snickerdoodles. That's, <laughs> that's that's what that pause was. Yeah, I yeah, knew I knew that was wrong. Uh, you're hungry, just like the people. Yeah. I am actually very hungry uh, right now. But so I, guess, I don't eat before I pod. I guess now that Kim Jong close to the streets. Now that Kim Jong Un's <laughs> in a coma, there's probably enough food for like another hundred people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he doesn't have to drink eight thousand bottles of champagne and. Chain smoke his cigarettes. What was his order? Didn't he order like 50,000 things of cognac to be sent to North Korea? Or yeah, or, yeah. He ordered was, them by like the by like the truckload. Yeah, it was insane yeah. amounts of booze. Yo, yeah. man, it turns up. I, hey. I respect it. No, did you know that fucking marijuana is legal in North Korea? So is meth. Yeah. They, I don't, they don't give it. it like, I don't damn. think they have enough money to care. Yeah, first of all, like, everyone's already in no, a, yeah. Next a prison. Next episode of we're going to be doing some North Korean yeah, meth. The, the, prison, <laughs> the prison is their house. Yeah, but the prison is the country yeah. they can't leave. Yeah, you don't really need rules when it's a prison country. Even though they tell you you can leave at any time, but if you try and cross the border, they fucking <laughs> shoot you. Yeah, yeah they tend to forget that once you start running. Mm. Yeah, like uh, that video that came out about a year ago, the dude who escaped and tried to run across the border and got hit and had to, like, crawl. No, no, he thought he had a weapon. <laughs> yeah, he... he. <laughs> no, that man had a prior... <laughs> Self-defense. Yeah. He had a conviction for assault. North Korean lives matter. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm, a new movement. I think every everybody should just start using that. Yeah. On. If white people are going to keep using it, I think he, everyone should use it. He was reaching for yeah. a gun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think other countries need to start adopting this. He was this. actually not such a good guy. Because yeah. can you cause can you imagine if China just does doing just that? He's just quirk. Yeah. No, no, he's a Hong Kongers. They uh, they have a violent past. Oh yes, no. He when he Can't was trusted. 
When he was eight, he had he had angry fit. No, no, he, he had a crack. He no angel. He smoked a crack. <laughs> oh no, no, our office is no suspicious. Plan. Yeah, no, I could I could see China using that pretty well actually. Oh yeah, well oh. we were just talking about the the Uyghur Muslims. Uh, yeah. Whoa. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah the hard they, dude? <laughs> they've been building like new prison camps. Like they're. They're getting really close. I to wonder if they're luxurious. <laughs> I know uh, that's yeah, a dumb fired? question, but like, are they decent? Oh, that looks decent. Yeah. yeah. No, no that they're, have Wi-Fi. <laughs> they're legit prison camps, but uh, they're they're really flirting with Hitler's record. I if mean, they're it, uh, they're really getting into some uh, some Holocaust, some real questionable e- territory here. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty major genocide. It's yeah. well, it's just now <laughs> it's now a, that it's been exposed a little. They're like. Well, obviously, we just need to build a better facility to hide it. <laughs> yeah, we like, just got built no, bigger know. walls. That's so. really not screaming innocent. Yeah, no. I I think they also can't figure out that like drones can fly over the wall to like see what's going. Well, uh, like I didn't, I couldn't. You see gotta if, put a roof over. I didn't <laughs> see if this was a roofed facility. Okay, uh, maybe I they ass- learned their lesson from I, the. I would assume so. Last time. Well, look, they built a fucking hospital in ten days. I would assume they can build a prison pretty <laughs> quickly. <laughs> Must hospital. not be a very good hospital. Yeah, it probably fell over on the fifth day. <laughs> fucking <Like>, things <laughs> built a stick in mud. Uh, <laughs> I do think some of it fell apart. Yes. <laughs> yeah, of course uh, it did. Like everything else being made in China. I guess. Well, they use like uh, the the fucking snap together like the. the the Lego brick. Uh, yeah, the, <laughs> the, the Lego fucking. I forget what they're called. The, the office yeah. building yeah. blocks. Yeah, the prefabricated. Prefab. There yeah. it is. Yeah, they're no, those things aren't meant to be as big as they were building it. No. Um, but yeah, they're really starting to get efficient with this uh, imprisonment stuff. Now, and no I one get, seems to care. I get yeah. that we got an election, but like. How much longer are we going to let this go unchecked? Because uh, we did that in World War II. And it didn't go so well. And yeah. by the time America... A lot of people died. By the time America got involved, they died. They killed most of the Jews already. Well, the one problem we have is uh, back in the day, Germany didn't make all our shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. China kind of makes all our shit. Yeah, they kind of make everybody's shit. I don't that's know... The, I think that's the problem, which makes this rather unique, I think, in history is the country responsible for the creation of most of the other civilizations' goods is also the one committing all the worst atrocities. Yeah, and they can get away with it because people want cheap shit. Well, it's almost more like... Like they a can't $10 aff- dollar iPhone case or well, something. Well, it's just like As... some countries literally can't afford to do that. Yeah. Like, like it, Africa it... cannot call China out for shit right now. No, they can't call anyone out to begin with. Yeah. Not like South Africa is in well, fucking Africa. China owns their debt. Yeah. And oh yeah. F- fucking. We talked about that. Yeah. How uh, Akon Akon sold so, it. He <laughs> sold his entire country to China. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like that is kind of where people are gonna have to once the Donald either fucks off or gets four more years. Like we're gonna need a little bit of that America first shit because. We can't let China keep making everything because uh, we're not going to be able to stop them from doing much. You know, I understand there's racial injustice here, but a literal genocide does seem. Yeah, we're not. A we're, genocide like, that's escalating as it gets exposed. Yeah, we're not putting African Americans in like detainment camps. Yeah, like I would put the genocide at the top of the list. Nope, no, no the, the our, black our treatment genocide, is important. Our but, genocide was a couple hundred years. Yeah. Was a hundred years ago, and we said sorry. Kind yeah. of. <laughs> we're working on it. Yeah. We're getting there. Kind yeah, of. we're, we're yeah. getting better. I'm Oklahoma, <laughs> but but that was more about labor. This is uh, just murder mostly. My question is for religion. My question is, is where are the terror? Uh, probably in a cave somewhere. Because they flew planes into us, and we didn't even really do much other than give them all guns. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We just these, turned around and sold them weapons. These motherfuckers are being killed wholesale, and not a single Allahu Akbar to be heard. China doesn't fuck around. They know China doesn't play. Yeah, but what? They can't fly a plane into China? No. China China does not have the rules we have when it comes to terms of engagement. Like, Well, they could try. <laughs> yeah. They should try. Where's the effort? Look, if you want to call us the ones who are anti-Muslim. Yeah, the infidels. I'm pretty sure that's as anti-Muslim as you can get. Listen, to all our viewers in ISIS, just hear us out. (laughs) Hear us out. We're we're trying to work a plan out for you. Well, I'm just like, where's the... 
Where's the consistency? Yeah, God, it's really, uh, you know we really chose a good podcast to have uh, pseudo nims talking about attacking China. <laughs> it's a real yeah. good thing they don't know our nims. Yeah, yeah. If China wants to hack me. They're gonna hack me. I'm not gonna stop them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, where's the consistency? Because there's actual prison camps, and not a single plane has been flown into one. Well, maybe. Maybe maybe they can only get like Cessnas or something, like those small little prop planes, like something can't do enough damage, so it's just not worth the effort. The pandemic even canceled terrorism. Uh, yeah, they, they can't fly. We no, we must stay six feet away from <laughs> <laughs> six feet away from the bomb strapped yeah. to my chest. Yeah, all well, guides us, but guides us six feet apart. Yeah. Although I guess if you detain all the Muslims and there's no terrorist attacks, maybe that proves the theory. It could be one of those racial things that uh, racism worked. Look, it's a little hard to deny that there are some very explicit parts of the Quran that call for some very explicit violence. Uh, but well, I wouldn't necessarily assume this would work. But Although there are other Muslim sects yeah. in Yes, and I don't believe the Uyghurs are one of the angry ones. No, yeah. I don't know why in particular they were chosen. This oh, is because I'm I mean, uninformed. Well, I know but... why. Why is because religion isn't allowed in the communist regime. Well, and also they're not Re Chinese. <laughs> well, yeah. because if you're religious, your your loyalty is to God, not the party. Not the lo CCP. Loyalty has to be to party. That's you down with CCP? That's how the... <laughs> you oh, see, the now, if they had more of a sense of humor, that would be like one yeah. of their PSAs. Yeah. That would really win the youth. Oh. I mean, they have. But yeah, in a communist country, the, the party has to be God. All right, let's get off a uh, uh, genocide. Move on to more fun things. You got? Uh, some... Oh yeah, we got some good alien shit. Let's let's get to alien. Welcome shit. back to the alien hour. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. so mm -hmm. David hasn't responded to my most recent. <laughs> David Wilcock attempt is to reach not, out. Uh, uh, Please no. Uh, now if if I had some people trying to help me boost it, but. You know, he's a busy man. I'm sure I'm he's sure getting thousands of requests. Listen, the man is a genius. He's read over 300 books. I'm sure he'll he looks eventually... Good Who knows how many he's read by now? He's event... Oh, you know, shit. he reads so much. Eventually, he will get around to reading your tweet. Maybe he'll I'm read sure so much that he'll solve the detainment camp crisis in China. Yeah, he's going to fix it. By the time he hits book 600. I'm sure he's had a prophecy somewhere. He just needs to find the notebook. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just got to find the proper thing that he can lie about. Yeah. What if I just say I'm the reincarnation of him? He just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> Pull his own grift on him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I'm, I'm you, David. I'm David I, Wilcock. I can't defame you. I am you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That would be a court battle for the ages. All right. I'm going to say this on the pod for legal purposes. I'm the reincarnation of David Wilcock and therefore cannot defame myself. All right. Your phone's covered. All right. Let's, uh, let's get to these but, aliens. Uh, so there was a Russian astronaut who was on the ISS, which is the space station. Right. Um, and he recorded some video of the Aurora Borealis, but then uh, some UFOs pop up in vaguely a V formation. It's not... Huh. The most spectacular footage, but he is sending it to be officially examined. Um, and one of the other big countries that has lots of alien shit is Russia. Russia has been studying the aliens actively uh. since, like, the Cold War and shit. They've never stopped. Because they've taken it seriously, I'm assuming because they probably thought most of it was American uh, shit yeah, that, American. They weren't, <laughs> that we weren't telling them about. We were trying to bomb their ass. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> doubt they actually thought it was aliens. They probably just thought it was fucking Americans. Uh, but they've released a lot of cool shit, and I would assume if it's going to be a coordinated release, which is, I think is the only way any sort of disclosure happens. Yeah. Because there's people are going to freak out in other countries if only one country says it. So... Russia would be another one of the primary players. Ironically, Brazil would be up there. Huh. Yeah, Brazil yeah. is surprisingly mm -hmm. into the UFO. Like, they've... Yeah, they got a lot of UFO shit over there. It's pretty big in there. But that... Culture. It, it, it's the one thing that could stop the Civil War we talked about on the, the other episode. Yeah. I mean, a, look, if there was ever a time where we had to pull the we need aliens to bring us together. What was the Reagan speech? Yeah, where yeah. he said, like... The only if, thing that could bring us together is a threat from another world. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah like, we would all unite under... A oh, speaking of Reagan, you know what's funny? The new Call of Duty? Yes. You're Reagan's hitter. 
What? Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ray, the, the, the gibber himself fucking sends you on missions. Yup. What? Yeah. Oh, I saw that's that. fucking awesome. I saw that and I was like, yo, do you think he's going to let you like plant crack in, in <laughs> black communities? <laughs> Go cook this crack. <laughs> I need you to plant this in Compton. Mm-hmm. Go to Freeway Rick Ross's house. <laughs> Go down to... Show them what you can do with baking this. soda. Three parts baking soda, one part... Uh, I probably shouldn't give out the recipe. No, say oh. it. <laughs> but Look, we'll, we'll, no, you're going to have to pay Patreon to learn how to yeah, cook crack. Yeah. Look, we'll tell you how to make every drug in the book, but yeah. you're going to have to pay for it. We don't give that away for that's free. That's a new Patreon yeah. special, the, that, the cooking show. That's a lesson for you children out there illegally listening to this, is that you <laughs> need to pay for stuff that's quality. Yeah, oh, yeah. you pay for and we don't, good shit. Yeah, you think we don't do this shit for free? Yeah, we don't just give you our crack recipe for free. It's been. I earned that. We developed it over the years. Secret recipe. I earned that recipe. Yeah. So is that uh, that? uh, Because I've got something uh, alien adjacent. If we're we're done with the the Russians. Yeah, I mean, you can you can move on to yours because that's that's pretty much all it has. It's just uh, it's good to see that it's being pushed more mainstream now. He's not being mocked for it. So I got this article off of ancient-origins.net. Um, it's an article article about uh, they found petroglyphs, which are essentially just like rock carvings. For you illiterate people out oh, there who oh, just don't read much. Which... You lower specimens. Yeah, I don't know why they can't just say fucking rock carving, but from the article, petroglyphs uh, found across North America have suggested that ancient Chinese explorers make contact with Native Americans. Uh, Yao Ling Song, a professor at the East China Normal University. Why did they work in the <laughs> word normal? East of China Normal. Uh, definitely Super normal. normal. <laughs> yeah. Super normal university. Nothing shady at all. Ironically <laughs> studying paranormal activity. Yeah. East China Normal University in Shanghai, who has studied petroglyphs as a visiting scholar at Harvard University, recently announced that he supports the interpretation that the petroglyphs are of the ancient Chinese origin sometime between 1600 to 1050 B.C. And the petroglyphs themselves translate roughly to set apart for 10 years together, declaring to return, the journey completed to the house of the sun, the journey completed together. And they were found in, uh, like, someone's private land in Arizona. So Song is an expert in Chinese petroglyphs uh, whose work has also long supported the controversial theory that contact occurred between Asia and North America outside of what is commonly held by archaeologists and anthropologists to be the case. Um, The common view is that Native American ancestors... uh, crossed the Bering Strait 12,000 years ago, and the point of contact between us and the Chinese didn't happen until 1000 AD. But there's been apparently a lot of this, like, petroglyph shit popping up mm-hmm. suggesting that it occurred I mean, literally, like, several thousand years before that. I mean, there's been a lot of stuff coming up coming out about how people were in the Americas a lot earlier than they thought and were spread out a lot farther. Graham Hancock getting fucking... Uh, shout out to uh, fucking... Um, not Graham Hancock, but uh, Joseph Smith. We got more people popping up in the U.S. all the time. <laughs> the Mayans is getting bigger and bigger every day. But uh, I was going to say, you think, uh, you think the natives thought the Chinese were white people? Or do you think they're the reason they thought they were aliens? Oh, that's a good question. Like, because Asian people would look light enough and also drastically different enough from, uh, like natives, that I could see them being called white, not because they were white people, but yeah. because they were light. Probably, but it would be because I've seen videos online of like the first time a black kid in Africa sees a white person and yeah, they're they like freak, the freak fuck out. out. Yeah, they're like, whoa, what yeah. the fuck is going on with that guy? Yeah. Whoa. So I could imagine. If you just live with nothing but Native Americans, and then a fucking Asian dude in armor shows up, yeah, fucking, yeah, they got a samurai there. Yeah, it probably, probably freak you the fuck out. But yeah. it seems like they worked it out together. Like the petroglyphs seem to indicate they they worked together when to did the complete Chinese a invent Thanksgiving? <laughs> I mean, the original Thanksgiving. Ironically, 
the ancient alien stuff is getting proven true in some regards and that there were probably more interactions. They probably weren't aliens. They were yeah. just like Jeez. other civilizations that happened to get there. That, it, yeah. It like, would make sense that if a far more advanced civilization showed up that far back, that they would have no way of properly well, articulating what it was that they saw. And at that point, China compared to the natives and what is it, 1050 BC? Yeah, whatever. China I, probably was a wildly more advanced civilization. Like, I that mean, they, was, China was actually probably advanced enough to be responsible for some of those stories that are attributed to, what the fuck was this? If they had a yeah. fucking boat, they could get from China to here. They had gunpowder. They had gunpowder at that point. Like, yeah, Native Americans were still they're fucking living riding, the same way yeah. when we got here. Horses and teepees, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, they... They didn't have giant warships that could uh, travel the the seven seas. Now, I was thinking, do you think they brought some of their, like, pharmaceutical knowledge with them and passed that on to some of the tribes who seem to have known, like, with the hallucinogenics and shit and, like... Like plant medicine? Cannabis and whatnot, because we know the Chinese were thousands of years ahead of everybody Uh else in that regard. That's an interesting... That's another one where it's always just been like, how the fuck do you figure that out? Just randomly but if you had someone come over and maybe show you what to cook up yeah because they were known they were known for their plant knowledge and kind of pharmaceuticals at that stage now they would have access to different roots but it's possible they could have brought along seeds or shit i mean if you're sending a delegation i guess what you would call it from china you're probably sending some scientists yeah you would want to send they were pretty much I mean, they were the Romans. Well, you would also want to send shit that could, like, sustain the people if yeah. they had to stay there. So seeds long, would be... It's going to be a long trip. Yeah. Yeah. Seeds so. would be... That's, all right. I like that theory. Thing. Well, yeah. The ancient Chinese taught the Native Americans how to do drugs, and mm-hmm. they, in turn, taught us... How to do drugs. How to genocide and do drugs. Yeah. I mean, in that stage, they had developed uh, sake. They had <laughs> developed... Uh, all sorts of crazy elixirs for mortality. None hey, that worked. Isn't sake Japanese? Excuse me. <laughs> What's the not the not sake? They all look the same to him. <laughs> so they, no, they call it. They, it's still rice wine in China. They just call it something else. Uh, Lil, I forget the Lil specific Jamie name. is half Asian, so it's a, that's why I made that joke to him. But no, uh, he's full Asian. That's why I made that joke. Yeah, because there was another. He's one hundred and fifty percent. He's hundred. He's given one hundred and ten percent. Two hundred percent Asian. Yeah. One hundred and ten percent Asian. Yeah. Um. But there was another one similar to that where they believe uh, the Romans at some point would have managed to get over there because they were another seafaring civilization. Now that one was probably a one-way trip, but yeah. there are some stories about like white tribes in certain parts of the Americas. Uh, and there's a few artifacts they've found where there's just, like, their Roman artifacts. I mean, it would make sense. Like, they had the ability ship-wise. Like, uh, it only takes go, a few of these. Explore. It only takes a few of these to happen. Yeah. Like, I mean, if Columbus could get there from Spain, it's not like boats were wildly more advanced in his era than the Romans. Yeah, and some of those rock coverings probably were just trying to explain shit that yeah. looked like magic to them yeah i mean like, if, if like the chinese showed up and were setting off like fireworks they'd probably be like what I, the fuck are you guys doing i forget What's what that noise what spirit is that i forget what the exact quote is but something like any sufficiently advanced technology looks is or is indistinguishable from magic yeah which is kind of true like yeah. Yeah, if you dropped an iPhone a thousand years ago, they'd be like, the fuck is this demon? Fuck that. A hundred years ago, if you gave someone Alexa and you were just like, hey, you can just tell it to play a radio and it'll play whatever song. Well, if you gave like, it to Tesla, crazy. If you gave it to Nikola Tesla, he'd be like, this is this is it. This yeah. is all you've done. <laughs> this is as far as I had this invented a hundred years ago. He'd have to go jerk off with his pigeons or whatever that weird fuck did. He'd jerk off. To I'm convinced the pigeon was an alien shapeshifter giving him the info. I got to progress more in my replay of uh, Red Dead Redemption because you can do missions with uh, Nikola Tesla in uh, a, par- a portion of the game. I'm going to be honest. I suck at shooting games, but if I get to do it for Reagan... Fuck. I know. I'm, if that actually made me I'm tempted to buy COD. I never thought I wanted to do anything for Ronald Reagan, 
but murdering terrorists for Ronald Reagan. Sounds fucking epic. People need to set their politics aside for a second, because that sounds pretty fun. Do you remember there used to be an old computer game where you, well, there's been several of them, but two in particular. One uh, was you had to assassinate JFK. That sounds awesome. And and it was done to sort of prove that, like, the traditional story is impossible, because... Like, they set all the parameters to what the FBI said, so it was like, you had to get up the stairs, fucking shoot him perfectly in the head, then run back downstairs in six seconds or wherever. Oh, that and, no, that report was with, withdrawn in but, the 70s. Yeah, and then there was another game where you, uh, it wasn't from the Hitman series, but it was a, like a similar mm-hmm. uh, style, and yeah, you were the Hitman who took out JFK. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't mind playing those games. You just gotta frame it the right way. You're like a time traveler who has to make the continuum work or it's, some shit. Uh, it's like 11 63 Stephen King. <laughs> yeah, that's, exactly. That's my book of the week. There uh, you go. It's funny you say fantastic. that. It's funny you say that, because I don't know if you guys have been watching Umbrella Academy on Netflix. I have. It's literally the same exact fucking premise. <laughs> yeah, I have. Is I have it's... indeed watched it a little bit. Yeah. Shit slaps. I, it's I... pretty entertaining. I mean, it's uh, from a comic, a smaller comic book uh yeah. Company, they kind of just bought the rights to all their comics, but I don't watch TV, so I'm out of loop on everything TV no. related. You don't do the pop culture, no, other than the rap, yeah, other than the, other rap. Than the rap and the drugs, other, other than the, the <laughs> hip hop music, the, the hip hop hippie to the hippie w- with the urban youth. Speaking of which, that new Locks album is fucking it's pretty good, it's pretty flames, good. it's pretty good. Go listen to Move and uh, the song with DMX. If you want to fight a motherfucker. Yeah, if you want a good work, you want some good workout music. If you want. That's if, some good, get your rage pent up. Or if, if you, you want, want to drink a 40 and yell at Tucker. Tucker Roy Rage. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to get drunk and yell at Tucker, fucking yeah. throw some of that shit on. Yeah. Woo. You, you'll bang out some push-ups yeah. and then fight a motherfucker in the parking lot of a Target. Yeah, he had a warrant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are we at? I think. Uh, uh, I, look- got, I got my two last alien scenarios to close okay. it out. Uh. So my first one was, if they turn out to be evil, which movie scenario do you prefer? Oh, uh... Independence Day. I prefer they just kill us. I don't want to be slaves. Yeah, but what type of aliens do you prefer? Oh, So, oh. so which, which movie scenario? Do you want, like, the Independence Day aliens, where they're just freaky-looking monsters that are just um, here to kill us? Yeah. Or do you want, like, the... No, I want the Uncanny Valley ones. The okay. Men in Black? The ones that, yeah, the ones that kind of look human. Okay, the vaguely human ones, not some crazy looking shit? No, because here's the thing. I, it, if they look sort of human, I don't have to change my day-to-day too much because from a distance. That's true. Especially without my glasses, I wouldn't be able to fucking tell if it was an alien or not. So even if there are hundreds of them right next to me, they'd look close enough and I wouldn't have to worry about being surrounded by aliens. Yeah, I mm-hmm. guess I would... It would I ease would, my own anxiety. I guess I would also prefer to be murdered rather than enslaved. Yeah, yeah. slavery sucks. I mean, I, I guess know that's the, a hot take. Yeah, yeah. From the resident Listen, white this boy. Is, well, a hot take here. Slavery is bad. I'm not a fan. Yeah, slavery. I We are anti-slavery yeah, on slavery this podcast. Slavery is a solid <laughs> one out of ten. Yeah. The economics are hard to argue against, but <laughs> morally. Yes, yeah, so yeah. morally, ethically, it is. A, a philosophically, it is a, it's not a ethically difficult. ethically made. It's epically made. But then I was also thinking, like, if there's also warring factions of aliens... How do we determine which one is actually evil? Well, they gotta find it out. Yeah, they gotta kill more people. They winner gets to yeah. Winner they, get, we're like uh, we we're don't like, get to choose. We're like uh, fucking the it's battle. It's like the election. We don't get to choose. It's like the battle <laughs> of Troy. We're just what's her name? Uh, Helen. Helen. Yeah. Yeah. They're just gonna kill each other, and winner gets to fuck us. Yeah, that's yeah. that's exactly what it would be. Well, because like, how would we be able to validate either of their stories? Well, also we can't. We wouldn't be able to compete. I don't know. I think nukes can do some pretty good damage regardless of how advanced anything is. Nukes are pretty... pretty they're dope. just small stars. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. think we'd have a good chance, but I think there's a reason if they showed up when we started making nukes, it's probably because they're uh, dangerous. <laughs> they're worried about them. They're probably a little dangerous, but yeah, because I could see if you go the Corey Good, David Wilcock Federation versus the, yeah. uh, the, evil, the evil aliens, and like, well, if they both showed up... Because they're obviously going to yeah. want to recruit us. We're a very destructive uh, species, for yeah. good or bad. We're good at blowing stuff up. Yeah, we, and we, we love could, we love war. 
we run the, the gamut. Yeah. We, we filled the whole spectrum. So we're a valuable ally. Mostly um, the autism spectrum in this room, but uh, <laughs> I think most of I think most of the species could could be that. Um, but that would be because like I don't know that was a scenario I thought about because how do you determine who's telling the truth? I don't know how to you tell if to an alien is lying. Like who do we have <laughs> interrogate them? Tucker Elon Carlson. Musk. Tucker. Ooh, Tucker. Tucker would get what if one of them just? What if they showed up and one faction went to Fox and one went to CNN? That'd be so fucking funny. Just they they were here to fight about the election too. I actually have that written down. In which side would the aliens choose in the civil war? But it's more interesting if they each take a side. And then it then we would have war. Then that we would be, actually yeah. that interstellar civil war. All right, your your hypothetical question from the last podcast about what could actually cause the civil war. There it is. Two two Aliens. differing alien factions show up. Each takes a different side. Democrat, Republican, we're fucking fighting. I prefer to say CNN and Fox at yeah, this point. We just yeah. we draw a line down the middle of the country. And then fucking... left versus right. And Guns blazing. Let's get this shit. Because that would be fun. And if there's more than one. Yeah. I mean, just if I was in their shoes. Yeah. yeah now. Yeah. It makes sense. I feel bad for the alien who sides with the ones without the guns. Yeah. They made a real blunder there. No, but, but the they have guns. Yeah, exactly. The aliens would have guns. Crazy fucking weapons. I guess. They, I guess they could have like fucking disintegrating I guess if they're gonna, and... they're gonna do some, some speaking of Reagan, Reagan shit and just like arm us. Yeah. They're gonna go like give the Democrats like their guns. What if the aliens just pump crack back into the black <laughs> community? <laughs> You've been cooking it wrong. I was thinking what if they're just super super yeah. conservative. Yeah. <laughs> fucking uh, they just, Reaganomics aliens. Yeah, trickle uh, down works. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> supply side. <laughs> Cause like if they came down at this point, I don't even think aliens are bringing this country together. No, no. nothing's unless, bringing us together unless they have some sort of crazy card to pull. And on, they have sex bots. Cause it would be funny <laughs> if they showed up and we're just too busy arguing. Like fuck off and come back later. Yeah, we'll deal with you later. Yeah, we're busy. No, Black Lives Matter. Your life doesn't fuck off. <laughs> well, and on the positive note, what color are you, huh? That will never live in unity. I think. What time? What time we got? I think we call it here. Yeah. We're at fifty-five, fifty-five. <gasps> to synchronicity. It's a synchronicity. Oh, oh God. shit! Get Wilcock on the phone. It we was found meant it. to be. It was meant to be. Right. You are David Wilcock. The I butcher's coming. Mom out. <laughs>